Jerry Seinfeld, also another special guest here, Bob Roth, the executive director of the David Lynch Foundation. And we're all here because we all have something in common. We all practice transcendental meditation, which I didn't know about until I learned it from you. And you taught me how to do it after Jerry introduced it. And, and I think people don't really understand exactly what it is and what a difference it's made in people's lives. You've been doing it I've been doing entire, it 40 don't. years this year, 40 years of TM. Now you just started doing Two it. Two years, I'm in my second year. And you have this insane job, right? <laughs> Which you've learned all about this morning. <laughs> yeah, we have to get up at like nine at night to get here. <laughs> And, and it and makes all the difference. It makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. But it's difference. very hard to uh, explain. You know how I was describing it to somebody? I was saying, it's like having a, you know how your phone has a charger? It's like if you had a charger for your whole body and mind. That's what TM is. And you is. said something very important to me when, when we first started, because I, it was one of the questions I had. You said, this is not a religion. It's a technique. It's compatible with all kinds of religions. What it really does is try to get the stress out of your life. And now scientists are finding real health benefits. Well, the whole idea is that we have very active, noisy levels of the mind, that we sort of got to go here, got to do this, got to do that. But every human being has deep within a settled, calm, silent level of their mind. And this transcendental meditation is just an effortless way to have the active, excited mind settle down, experience that inner calm. At the same time, the body gains a very deep state of rest. That, stre that rest eliminates stress. You have more energy, wakes up the brain, and you guys can do your job. Right, and the American Heart Association right. actually says it, it, it works. No, the American Heart Association just came out with a study a month ago that showed that transcendental meditation highly effective for reducing high blood pressure, for reducing risk of stroke, and actually reducing mortality rates by almost 50 percent by pe from people who've been meditating for five years. Well, and I, I and they find that hosting morning television is <laughs> the opposite <laughs> yeah, all exactly. of those things. It counteracts yeah. Yeah. All aging and aging and aging. Does all of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just keeping in the balance. Yeah. Yeah. Basically yeah. Neutral, fighting he died the exact same day. <laughs> You would have. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's really, really reassuring, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Thanks very You're much. Awesome. <laughs> You're also doing some very, I'm going to move over yeah. right now to some very exciting work you guys are doing because it's, it's not just, it, it can help anybody, but you guys are going into schools right now, helping at risk kids, helping soldiers coming back from Iraq, Afghanistan, who are suffering from post traumatic stress, also women who've been the victims of violence. Well, I mean, for example, uh, the Department of Defense just provided a $2 million grant to study the effects of transcendental meditation on post-traumatic stress disorder. The fact is, as Forbes magazine said, stress is the black plague of the 21st century. It's an ugly thing. It uh, can't be prevented. It can't be cured by conventional means. And now this technique, this particular meditation technique, has been shown to be highly effective in eliminating post-traumatic stress disorder. And so it's being used in schools where kids have, or they're, they're, you know, young children in the urban centers have the same symptoms of PTSD as soldiers coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. It's interesting that something so ancient and traditional and not a religion and not a philosophy and not a change in lifestyle, anyone can do it, that something that simple can have such a profound impact on very modern ailments. And, and, and we're seeing, as you say, the government get involved and really try to promote it and really yeah. multiply Absolutely. the good and the difference that can come from it all. There's a medical, I mean, there's a military college in Vermont called Norwich University and the uh, president, Admiral Schneider, he feels, we're offering TM there to his cadets, he feels that this should be a part of uh, basic training because it adds resiliency. It adds resiliency, so the immune system to stress is strengthened. Bob, Jerry, thanks for coming in and talking about it. Thanks, George. Okay.